So it's time to sell the house. The real estate market is hot. Why get a real estate agent? All they do is open the door, right? Wrong, motherfucker. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone had a great Easter, and let me know in the comments down below what you did. This is the year you are finally ready to sell that house, and with the real estate market being so hot, you might be saying, Why hire a real estate agent? I can just do it myself. Well, that's true. The real estate market is on fire this year, and Truthfully, a lot of people who are selling their house by owner, they are getting the home sold. But let me tell you this, it's not as simple as just snapping a couple photos with uh, with this bad boy, your phone, um, and thinking the house is going to sell. There's actually a lot that goes into it. You have to be prepared to find a real estate photographer because this is not acceptable. You have to be able to be ready to take a lot of phone calls coming in from buyers or maybe even potential real estate agents who have a buyer. You have to be ready to coordinate showings, qualify the buyers that are viewing the property, negotiate the property value of your home and repairs that need to be made. You gotta find a contractor and you gotta handle all the paperwork. It's not as simple as just putting the house online and it sells itself. You actually gotta do some work and you gotta make sure you have the hours to put into this. A lot of people, they have a full-time job, they have a family, they have you know their own life outside of work and family uh, and things they like to do and you may not have all the energy and time to put into selling your house. It's something that you have to weigh out. Now, of course, the big benefit of selling the house on your own and not actually listing it with an agent is, of course, you don't pay commissions. I mean, commissions are expensive. On average, you're listing at maybe 5%. 6% here in my market in Los Angeles the average rate for selling your house is 5% now when you are listing your home by owner if you are cooperating with agents you are gonna have to pay a commission and I'm sorry paying them 500 bucks or maybe 1% when every other house on the market is offering two and a half you're not gonna get that house sold. So you need to offer a competitive commission to these agents. So when the market's, you know, to list the house is typically 5%, you're still paying two and a half and pocketing that extra two and a half percent. Simple enough, you put the house on the market yourself, the house is worth 500,000, and you only have to pay two and a half percent to a buyer's agent, hey, you get to keep an extra two and a half percent. What is that, uh, $12,500? versus listing it with an agent who they're gonna charge you 5% or $25,000, you just save $12,500. You can go on a nice vacation, you can pay off some debt, you could put it as a bigger down payment towards the house, use it for uh, improvements at your new home if you are buying a replacement property. So that viewpoint of course makes sense, you're making more money. What if I told you though, homes that are sold by owner do not sell for nearly as much money? Let's look at the data. This data comes directly from the National Association of Realtors. You can see that right here. And this is for the year of 2018. Here in 2018, you can see that the typical for sell by owner's home sold for $217,900. Of course, this is nationally compared to $295,000 for agent assisted home sales. We can also look at one by Homelight, where this one is for 2019, where they said, the median price was 200,000. That's significantly lower than the median of agent assisted homes for 280,000. Even after $12,000 in commission fees for the latter is taken into account. So a little bit of a shocker that I, I didn't even know the numbers were that, uh, that different. Um, so you saved a little bit of money on commissions, but you actually gave it up in purchase price. So did you really save money? No, you left a lot more money on the table than had you just listed with a real estate agent. So what are my thoughts? Is it a good idea for you to sell the property on your own or should you absolutely, yes, you have to list your house with a real estate agent? You should try selling the house on your own right now. It, it, if you got time, if you got the energy to do everything that we talked about, to, to schedule the photos, to coordinate showings, to handle repairs, to, to walk through the paperwork and through the escrow process if you have the time to do that give it a shot try selling the house yourself for 30 days if you can't get the home sold list it with an agent while you're hey while you have that house listed for the first 30 days speak with some agents you listed it by owner i guarantee you the 
first seven days you had that house listed, every single real estate agent in town called you. Trust me, I know it's annoying. I do this myself. I go after people who have their house listed by owner. It's a very great way to get business. I know you weren't expecting that. You were expecting to get buyer calls, but you're getting agent calls asking you to list the house. I know, but it's part of the process. You have that house listed, and you're getting calls from every real estate agent in town while you have a house on the market. You might as well interview a couple just in case one of them, in case you don't get the house sold. Now you have a plan B. You can, you've already met with some agents. You know some realtors that, that you like, that you interviewed. You think they, they're very knowledgeable. And in 30 days, you haven't gotten the house sold. You're not getting the activity. You're not getting the offers that you want. Speak with them, see what they really have to say, what they think they can get that house sold for. Now, maybe you have that house listed and you are not cooperating with agents at all. You wanna pay no commission. You wanna sell this directly to a buyer. You, you wanna cut out agents altogether to really maximize your dollar. What does that look like? What are the chances of you succeeding? Well, I'm gonna give you guys some more data that shows you have about a 12% um, chance of actually selling that property. So here's another piece of information from the National Association of Realtors. 88% of buyers purchased their home through a real estate agent or broker, a share that has steadily increased from 69% in 2001. Okay, so we are seeing data here that proves that as time goes on, more and more people have wanted to have an agent represent them while they are buying a house. Well, you know, why is that? Well, maybe it's because there's a lot of freaking paperwork involved with purchasing a house. They want to have somebody that can uh, negotiate any repairs, negotiate the price on their behalf. They want to just make sure that they are protected and get the best deal possible. Call me if you're thinking about buying. So if you're not cooperating with agents, I mean, what would that buyer do? Does that mean that the buyer has to pay the commission to their agent? Because if that's the case, I guarantee you are probably the only property in your market that's doing that. So why would an agent or why would a buyer want to buy your property when it actually costs them, you know, a two and a half percent more than every other property on the market? It doesn't make sense. So in that regards, I would always recommend cooperate with agents. Don't limit yourself. I mean, if we're already saying that properties for, you know, selling a property by owner, they typically sell for less. Now let's say we've, we've just removed 88% of our buyers from our buyer pool so that 100 buyers that were, were the perfect fit for your home, um, you have only 12 buyers now. You're not giving yourself a lot of opportunity. You're not giving yourself a lot of interest. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want to get the most interest and attention to your property as possible. Now, some of you might be listening to this and you're still thinking, Brandon, I don't need a real estate agent. I'm going to get the house sold for top dollar. I don't need any help. And let me at least recommend this to you guys. Find someone that can at least coach you through the escrow process, someone that has your back. You could probably go down to any real estate office and find an agent that will just work through the, the escrow process period for you for a flat fee or maybe speak with a real estate attorney and what they would charge to get it. There are flat fee brokerages out there. I mean, there's still options for you guys. I th There are legal responsibilities in the escrow process. You really don't want to go through them alone. Have somebody that's working in your corner to make sure you're protected and, and you're not putting yourself at unnecessary risk. I always think that's a good idea. At least consider it, at least know what your options are and, 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 and get some advice on the situation. So what do you think? What are your thoughts about listing it by owner? Does it make sense? Do you think it's more beneficial to, to list on your own than list with an agent? Let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Again, my name is Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles. And before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as it does help grow the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.